Hey everyone, Chloe here. As you probably know, this is my first video. So, I figure, what better day to start than on March 31st, Transgender Day of Visibility. Um, so, for those of you that don't know me, you know, I'm a trans woman. I'm gay. Um, so, hello ladies. Um, and, you know, throughout my transition, I've just, you know, looked for all sorts of inspiration and all sorts of help that have helped me become the person I am today. And one of those huge sources of help has been other YouTubers telling their story. Other YouTubers just, you know, telling how it is to be a trans woman, at least in their experience. And that's kind of why I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for a long time is to kind of like pay it forward. You know, these people have helped me so, helped so much, so maybe I can tell my story. Maybe there'll be something unique about it. I don't know. And that will help other people in their journeys, help people who are trans and processing their identity, help people that are cis and processing their gender expression or just being more comfortable with themselves. I don't know. But that's kind of kind of my goal with this here is just to help spread awareness, help tell my story, help put myself out there, help encourage people to be like more vulnerable, more open, and maybe just be some kind of online support. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, I figure today, the transgender day of remember, transgender day of visibility, not Trans Day of Remembrance, is a great day to start um, because it's all about being visible, giving visibility, positive visibility to people in the trans community. You know, people who are trans sharing their stories or people who are cis helping elevate the voices of those who are trans. You know, helping normalize trans stories, help normalize trans people as people because, you know, I look like a person, right? I think I'm a person. I mean, maybe I'm a robot. I don't know. Maybe that's part of the transition. Just kidding. But, um, yeah, sorry, that was lame. But, you know, giving visibility is really important. You know, it helps create some representation, helps, like I said, normalize us. You know, we're just, we're just people trying to live our lives. And the way this world is set up, it's, it's much more complicated than it should be to just be ourselves. It's, it like shouldn't be such a struggle and such like an accomplishment to be authentic. But for so many of us it is. But beyond just me being visible today, you know, I think it's really important to give voices to those in the trans community that are most marginalized, especially those in the trans community that for whatever reason can't speak up, can't be visible today. Um, you know, people that can't be visible today because of fear of discrimination, fear of being bullied at school, fear of losing their jobs. Whether you're somebody who is trans and you've already come out, but you're living your life stealthily, um, something I'll explain later, um, or you're somebody who hasn't yet come out, but you want to. Um, you know, I hope like voices like mine can help elevate those you know, give you the motivation needed to one day come out. You know, for those people who don't currently have a safe space to come out, don't currently have a support network. Um, for people in marginalized communities where, you know, being trans is literally a life or death situation. If people find out you're trans, you could be killed for it. You know, these are the people that need you know, the support and the education and the awareness spread for them the most to help, again, normalize the fact that, hey, we're people, we're just trying to live our lives. You know, sure, I'm transgender, I'm a lesbian, but, you know, I also love tattoos, I love cats, I love horror movies, I'm a psychology student, I work as an engineer, um, you know, there's so many different aspects about us. We're just as complicated, if not more so, than all you cisgender people out there. 
but we want the same kind of respect that y'all get, you know? We want to be able to walk down the street and just be like, hey, what's up? I'm a person. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't really know where I was going with that. So, like I said, this is kind of my first video. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't really know where I should be looking with my eyes. So, this is kind of just a little foray into me. Um, planning on doing this some more, but this, this is just an experiment. You know, so let me know what you think. If it's not absolutely horrible, um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like the video. Um, I should probably stop saying um so much. Um, next time I should probably bring my cat into the video because maybe that would capture more attention and make it more exciting. But, you know, more importantly, this today, March 31st, every March 31st is Trans Day of Visibility. So, you know, for trans people out there that are safe and being open, be visible. Help people see you. Help people see that you're normal. For those of you in the cisgender community, you know, you're not trans, but help elevate the voices and stories of those that are. Help provide safe spaces. Help spread education and awareness. You know, today is a day where we should be celebrating trans lives. So, trans or not, help us celebrate. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for listening.